Welcome to Color Army. My name is Eric Francis. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at skin tone. So first things first, I prepare a drawing. I then trace it. After I'm done tracing it, I put dark hatchet marks wherever the lines are. I then redraw it on the canvas. After that, I give it a number wash and we're ready to begin. Let's go. This time around, we're going to start off with a question from Kimosabi70. She writes, Do you have any suggestion on a color palette for people from India or Pakistan? I'm struggling with my first acrylic portrait. The trial and error part is getting really tiresome. I know what you mean. Here we go with the suggestions, Kimosabi70. Alright, so my first tip is to start off by making a color chart. Now by doing this, it gives you a direction that you're going to head in before you start. You know, before you get any paint on the canvas, this will kind of help you from getting frustrated when the paint don't come out right, you know, because you already did it and you know it's right. It's also a good idea to write down how you got each color. As we all know, acrylic paint dries really fast. And, and, and when that happens, it's, it's like, man, it's nearly impossible to get that color again. Well, if you write it down, you have an idea of how you got the color. So what we have here is a basic formula on how to mix skin tones and the steps you would take to perfect it before you actually got to the painting. If you want to know more about skin tones, take a look at my channel. Now that you've got the right colors and you've written them down, it's time to practice blending. We practice blending to see how much we have to blend or how much we really don't have to blend. If you get the colors right, they're like a step ladder. One color naturally leads into the next color. So don't worry yourself too much about blending, but you're still gonna have to practice just so you can see what you're really gonna have to do. And when I say practice blending, I mean practice. It's the difference that makes a difference. So you say you don't know how, fine. You only need to subscribe, look on my page, and you'll find three videos where I show you three different techniques on how to blend acrylic paint. I use two different techniques to create this painting. I know this seems like a lot of overkill and you're doing so much work before you actually get to the painting, but I would like you to imagine yourself in the future where you've completed a lot of really incredible paintings and the feeling that you get from doing so and knowing that all the time and effort that you put into learning how to do it was so worth it. Next step is to practice even more. What you're looking at now is a color sketch I did in preparation for the painting. I wanted to see how the background colors were gonna look. And I also wanted to see how the clothes were gonna look. So I did this little sketch, it might have taken an hour, just to get my ideas out. After working on so much art for so many years, you might come to the conclusion that I've come to. 
that the picture you create inside your mind is always better than what you make. So what I've learned to do is to hammer out the idea with these little sketches. At this time, let us pray for the victims, families, and friends of the tragic events in Boston. Like what you've seen? Then do me a favor. Subscribe, like, share, or comment. There will be a link in the description that will take you to my blog if you want to see more paintings. And if you want to further support this content, you could donate. That goes to pay for things like paintbrushes, canvases, you know, just your basic art supplies. These videos are made in response to questions I get asked all the time. So do me a favor, ask me a question. It might end up in a video. Peace.